And a moral company. <laughs> Day is it today?
I hear Chinatown. Hot chocolate. Ooh, and a cookie. Sup, fishies. How's it going? Open your gills and let me tell you a story. It's the story of two worlds meeting, and against all odds, getting along pretty well. That's where I come from. The link between both worlds. No pressure, right? So Volko was the one who taught me the ways of the water. <laughs> Ah, good times. So, turned out my half-brother, King Orm, wanted to conquer the surface world. So much for brotherly love. Not that people here were any nicer. Hey, are you Aqua Woman? Mira. Her name was Mira. She did not want to clash between the surface and the sea. She thought I could help after all the mayhem caused by Orm on the surface. I just had to swim her way. Didn't think me getting captured was part of her plan, though. But hey, a fight to bring peace? Bring it on! Man, I'll give Orm this much. He sure knew how to draw a crowd. Shame for him I wasn't in the mood for playing. Takes to beat me? Better think again.
Orm didn't seem to like the idea of losing fair and square. It'd take a little creative thinking to get past those attacks of his. My usual attacks weren't working. I had to try and think of something else. Yeah, that seemed to work.
Finally, I was starting to get something. You know, just for a sec, I thought he'd give up on me. But I guess I should have known. Even after all that, it still wasn't over. <sighs> I had a feeling it was going to be one of those days. This looks like trouble. Good thing I like trouble. <laughs> That's one sweet hug. Good luck on your date, bro. That'll keep the surface safe for a while.
How's it going, small fries? Missed the best hero of them all, did you? Me and Mira had been busy looking for King Atlan's long-lost trident. Turns out it would give its holder mastery over the seas, which would be kind of useful when going up against my little bro. After a bunch of searching, running, climbing, falling, jumping, and some flying, whew, we finally got a clue to where it was hidden. I was glad to get back to swimming. <laughs> no, not that kind of swimming. Yeah, that's better. And faster. Very important when you're trying to get away from so many teeth and so many claws. But we got rid of them. Piece of fish cake. And finally, in the depths of the hidden sea, we found Atlan's trident. Yeah! <laughs> After that, I just had to unite the Seven Kingdoms and convince them that I could be their king. But Orm wasn't going to make it easy, and the biggest water fight ever was about to start. Permission to come aboard? It turned out uniting the Seven was easier said than done, especially with Orm on our case. Freeing those fishermen would be a good place to start. Stand back, while I make this... It looked like we made ourselves some new friends. Orm didn't seem too happy about it. Probably why he sent some of his buddies after us. By defeating the trench in battle, we'd won their respect and convinced them to change sides. Things were looking up. Just then, Orm managed to knock out the power. If we wanted to communicate with King Narius, we'd have to find a way to fix it. Fast. Ugh! <sighs> 
Yeah, this ain't gonna work for me. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> outrageous. Or whatever. <laughs> Mira managed to convince her dad to join with us. I think that was the last straw for Orm. Orm didn't seem to think too much of me winning our little popularity contest. It was time to teach him a lesson or two about being a king. Seems that Orm still had a few friends. They weren't gonna make this easy. Orm tried calling for more help, but it looked like his plans were about to be all washed up. Just like that, the tides turned on Orm. Peace returned under the seas, and I took my place as king.
Peace, boys. What's up? Lobo here. Just grabbed myself a snack with the hogs getting refueled. Ah, now let's dig into this young justice hero stuff. Superman and friends got himself stuck on the other side of the galaxy, leaving the youngins to fill their boots on Earth. Anyways, the baby heroes had plenty to deal with. Some alien dudes were trying to invade Earth, and not the good, honest alien kind like your main man Lobo, but the double-crossed and cheating kind. Earth's worst villains decided to secretly partner up with the invaders. Thankfully, some of those ankle biters were undercover. Twas a teensy bit weird for Aqualad here. See, his daddy Black Manta was part of the bad crew. Awkward! A secret meeting was called. And from there, it all went downhill. <laughs> Claiming Earth as their property wasn't going to make anyone living there happy. Trouble, trouble. But the little ones were ready for anything and waiting to strike. That did not bode well for the bad guys, aliens or otherwise. The stakes of this battle were Earth's survival, no less. <laughs> I don't care who wins, as long as I can see some sweet brawling. Aqualad's little undercover operation exposed, things were about to get messy in a hurry. Somehow in all the chaos, Miss Marshall got all wrapped up in this magic fire snake thing. Huh? Somebody had to help her out and fast. Martian was free, but the team would still need to do something about the brain sheep if they wanted to teach him a lesson.
Brain shield out of the way. It was that flash kid's time to shine. I'm more of a bronze of a brains kind of guy. But I'll tell you who's got plenty of both. Black Beetle. Man, you can tell he didn't like it when things weren't going his way. Then Mr. Insect Features decided to take a hike. Smart idea. <laughs> Meanwhile, things around this so-called summit just got crazier and crazier. <laughs> While all this was going on, Aqualad and his Aqua Dad had some issues they needed to deal with. Man, I do love me some good old-fashioned family drama. It takes to defeat this guy. Feels like I've been waiting six years to see what happens next. Ugh. <laughs> 
played, kiddos. But I guess there's hope for this generation after all. That's it for me. Earth's not the only planet in the universe, although they have some pretty nice food there. Just more. What's up? Shazam here. Brand new superhero at your service. Now that I'm a pro at the whole Cape Crusader thing, let me tell you how my origin story went down. So usually I'm Billy, Billy Batson, but shh, secret identity. I've been bouncing around foster homes for like forever. That's because I lost my mom when I was five. And that's how I wound up with these guys. It took a bit of getting used to, but turned out they were all pretty awesome. Then things got real strange. I was totally minding my own business, not getting into trouble at all, when I ended up in this spooky place with this, uh, wizard? Not sure why he chose me, but one magic word later... Shazam! Wow! <laughs> look at me! I mean, look at me! Now I can get this buff bod whenever I want. Freddy knew all about this superhero stuff, so he helped me figure out my new powers. Montage. Electricity, bullet immunity, super strength. <laughs> I was like electric Superman, dude. Except I wasn't sure if I could fly until this bad guy appeared and decided to drag me up to the sky. Then he dropped me. I mean, seriously, what's up with that? So you want to do this the hard way, huh? I tried hiding as plain old Billy Batson, but Freddy and me would still need to sneak past Savannah if we wanted to escape.
Vaughn didn't appreciate our methods of trying to get past him. We'd have to be a little more careful going forward. With Freddy in danger, I had no choice but to say the magic Shut word and it. take Savannah down! Savannah sure wasn't giving up easily. Freddy knew there had to be something nearby he could use to help me out. Not gonna lie, Savannah was pretty intense with the scary magic. I made a calculated retreat so I could face him later. Yeah, I didn't know his monster still had Freddy, I swear. 
<laughs> They're so creepy. Being a superhero is tough. I'm glad I could go back to being a kid anytime. It sure has its perks. I wanted to be a member of the Teen Titans when I was younger, but then I realized that it looks like one of the requirements is a tragic backstory and how. Welcome back, kiddos! You ready to ride the rest of my awesome story? Right, where was it? Oh yeah! Before I even got a chance to track down Savannah, he brought Freddy back to the foster home. Only I wasn't grown-up, superhero, muscled-up me. But he seriously underestimated us kids. Ha! Batarang in your face! No more leverage for you, Mr. Creepy Power Stealing Dude! Tactical retreat! We ran to the Winter Carnival to blend in with the crowd. Well, that didn't last. Guess you can't hide someone as handsome as me for long. <laughs> huh. Huh. The Doc and his ugh, creepy monsters found us and sent everyone else running. Savannah had us all cornered. Again. Plans A, B, C, D, E, F, and G were out. So I had to give away my powers to save the others. Unless... Whoosh! Shazam! <laughs> the old man didn't expect that one. That's right! Dr. Stink Eye had to go up against all six of us. <laughs> Suddenly, Savannah didn't feel much like fighting anymore. He tried to make his escape, but I wasn't about to let that happen. Gluttony and pride hadn't wasted any time introducing themselves to the locals. Someone needed to put a stop to him. We had to think of something to get Gluttony's attention. We figured the smell of the food from that truck might be just what we'd need. Uh, oh. 
Darla's new powers were just what we needed to brighten things up a little. It worked! Gluttony fell for the trap! That's what you get for being greedy. Someone had to tell this creep there's no pride in picking on someone weaker than you. Just at that moment, Pedro arrived to help. He figured his new super strength might come in handy. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Talk about being careful what you wish for. You can look at yourself all you want now, Pride. Just when things seemed to be going our way, we ran into wrath. Oh, I don't need to tell you, that's some real bad news. It wasn't pretty, but with Wrath out of the way, it was time to take down Savanna once and for all. for the back, old man. I got the eye with the monsters inside. All of Savannah's powers were gone. There's no messing with us now. The Shazam fam is pretty awesome. All right, can't get enough of me, huh? I don't blame you. Lobo is one sweet side. <clears throat> yeah. Talking about big, handsome men. Let me tell you about my man, Bruce Wayne. He had some happiness and love in his life once. <laughs> Andrea Beaumont. But the sun can't shine forever. He had to escape the city. Daddy was being chased by some of Gotham's worst, you see. Poor Brucey was left with only his butler for company, so he started his whole crime-fighting biz. Finally, some action I can get down with. And as a lover of black outfits myself, I dig it. Over the years, catching criminals became routine for Batsy. Until a new shadow appeared in the night. 
Mobsters who've been meanies to Andrea's Pop Pop got taken down one by one until only the worst of them remain. Meanwhile, Bats and his manservant got their brains whirring. Was Skullface Bruce's old flame? Hmm. Yeah, it was. But Andrea was already on her way to confront the Joker. Bats flapped to the rescue. Unfortunately, Mr. J always had a trick up his sleeve. Uh-oh. Boom! <laughs> Speaking of old flames, it seemed like things were heating up for bats and phantom features. They need to figure out a way of dealing with that fire if they wanted to track down the Joker. Now that the situation had cooled down a little, it was time for some good old-fashioned detective work. I should be able to deal with this. <sighs> Games, huh? You can see how a crazy cat like the Joker would feel right at home in a place like this. <laughs> Just then, Joker's Captain Clown robot showed up. And unfortunately for Bats, it didn't look like he was in the mood to make balloon animals. It ended up being Batman who had the last laugh. With one clown down, it was time to head on after the Joker. <laughs> Bats and the Phantasm managed to track down the Joker. But the real fun was just getting started. Yeah. <laughs> 
I guess crime flies when you're having fun. <laughs> hey, what do you know? I got jokes too. It ain't safe to be a clown around here. <laughs> Business was starting to pick up, and so was the wind. Came to Joker's wild ideas. You could tell that Batman wasn't exactly a fan. <laughs> you get it? Taking off in a hurry, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh! A shot like that sure ain't gonna play into the Joker's favor. Seemed like Joker wasn't done trying to blow away his competition. <laughs> you could tell Joker wasn't in the mood to make him laugh anymore. <laughs> Bam! 
a good old anvil trick. He sure fell for that one. Oh. That's what you get for messing with the phantasm. And Bats got back to fighting crime. Huh. Alone. Right. Gotham's too gloomy for my taste. I'm gonna go catch some supernova rays. See you later.